Super Saiyan 4 Gamer, and we are back with more Let's Replay Super Mario World. Let's get started with Donut Planes 1. As we all know, this level holds the infamous, the famous, Cape Feather. Don't ask me how a, how a, a feather gives Mario a cape. Come to think of it. Ah! Whoa. Come to think of it, I don't know how a um a leaf gives Mario a raccoon tail either, but you know what? It's Mario's Oh god, what the hell? I'm not even Okay. No! Okay, thank you. Alright, so this game is a random match em up game. You have to guess the correct order in which the blocks are gonna pop out coins, and if you get three of them right, or if you get enough of them, what am I talking about? If you get all three of them, then you get a one up. And wow, like every one of them, see okay. Everyone except the last one was in the same order. How about that? Oh, you son of a crap. Okay, you wanna go down the pipe? Thank you. There we go. So, this room is basically just a room full of coins. And, you know. You just try and get as many coins as you can. I just love the um, ability that Mario can do this thing. I don't, I don't know exactly what you call it, but I just love this. I'm able, I'm able to do a few levels with just this ability alone, but I'm, I'm not gonna show that during this LP just because, you know, the LPers curse has affected me too, so. I most likely will die trying. Let me get... There we go. Yay, Yoshi! And... I completely forgot that, you know, the... Your... Everything is pretty much erased. Even if you save it, everything gets pretty much erased. So we, we won't be doing the bonus game yet. There we go. 40. Yeah, yeah. Donut plans to our first um, cave level, and it's the first auto scrolling level of the game. As if, as if the game designers felt that they didn't have enough of these types of levels in Mario Bros. Three, because everywhere, you, every time you turn around in that game, there's a side scrolling level coming at you, or an auto scrolling level, I should say. Just gotta take it slow here so I can uh, see what's ahead or not really see what's ahead just be more cautious and prepared or I don't know whatever I'm not making any sense All right, um, I saw somebody do, I saw somebody do a trick with the footballs to get extra 
one-ups, but, uh, I don't know, and I, th there's a secret exit right here, but I'm not gonna get that yet, I'll show that at a later time, just cause, you know, yeah, 26, alright, that's good enough, come to think of it, how do you even get, how do you even get the tape when it's at its highest point? I have no idea. Donut Ghost House. The first ghost house level of the game. And there's a secret... There's a secret exit that I will show off. Just because it leads to a useful spot. Alright. Run. Yes, thank you. Sorry if you hear barking in the background, that's my grandma's dog. Because, you know, unfortunately dogs bark. No! Ooh, that ghost, like, almost took my cape away. Is that the last one? Ah, God! Okay. Should I even risk waiting? Okay. No harm done. How do they even expect you to get the kit, the the tape at its highest point? Like, I've always wondered that. Like, probably some expert who's way better than I am at this game can figure out how to get the tape when it's at its highest point. But I have no idea. And the secret spot I was re referring to was top secret area. In this little nifty area, you can get power-ups and an extra life, assuming you have Yoshi when you come in here. Because normally, if you came in here as just Mario, Yoshi would be in that block, and I don't want the fire flower, so I'm just getting out of here. <sighs> now I have to go back through the ghost house normally. No big deal. Man, I was playing, um, Metroid Fusion just now on my, uh, 3DS from the Ambassador program that happened a few years ago. I was playing it, and I put, I, I closed my DS thinking it would go to sleep mode, and then when I go to play it again, I see Game Over, I'm like, what the hell? Come to realize that the Game Boy Advance games don't have sleep mode. I'm like, oh, well, nice. I love the Metroid series. You know, I may, I may do a Let's Play of one of the Metroid games, like Super Metroid, but just be warned, if I do do a Let's Play of Super Metroid, I will be using a guide throughout the whole game, because that's a game where the path is not linear, so I have to mem memorize the entire freaking game, and I don't have that good a memory when it comes to those type of games. So if I ever did do a Metroid Let's Play, I would have to use a guide. I don't really know how that game works. But to tell you the truth, to, I mean, I'm talking about the Tic-Tac-Toe game. Um, I don't really know how it works, I guess. The more flowers, the more of whatever you get that's in the center, the more one-ups you get. I mean, I don't know if you're supposed to go in a certain... Yeah, I don't know. Donut Plans 3. Now this level, um... It's not wise to fly in this level, really, because... There's so, there's so much of the level where you're hanging over nothing, so... I know the blue shells give Yoshi wings, but... No! Get back here! Thank you! But I'm... I'm not confident enough in my abilities to fly over to this entire stage without dying. No! You bastard Koopa! Die! Ugh!
Fuzzies! Alright. Yeah, I'm not saying much because I'm just concentrating. Woo! Alright. Don't need to get that because it's another cape. Feather, I should say. Alright, another, uh, never mind. I was gonna say another, um, tic tac toe game, or, um, matchup game like the one in Donut Plains 1, but I fucked it up and I missed it. Wonderful. Obviously, I'm not getting. Ooh! Yes, there we go. 28. Top secret area comes in handy. I don't need anything else because I have an extra cape already. So let's see that onward to Donut Plains 4. Oh no, I should have. Now, now that I think about it, I should have gotten that one secret exit that I mentioned beforehand. Oh, you bastard! God damn it! These fucking Koopas die, you piece of shit! Oh well, I think I think I get Yoshi again later on in a in a later portion of the level. Flying and Hammer Bros die. You're not even flying. You're on a flying platform. That's false advertising. Damn it! I won't have it. Careful here. There we go. Another lion. Really? Come on. Come on, little buddy. I want the foot. Yeah. <laughs> no! Okay, thank you. I thought it was gonna kill me. Eat it, Yoshi. Time for dinner. Thank you. Alright, I want a star man. Alright. Cape. Star man, yay! I'm trying to get an extra life here. I want, I was, damn it, I wanted that extra, I wanted that last extra life. Alright, not bad, I was aiming for 40, but whatever. cut and I will be back to I will be back at Morton's castle because I want that secret exit alrighty then I will be back in a few minutes alrighty ladies and gentlemen we are back um, let's go on to Morton's castle castle number two I find it funny that all these Koopas are named after, um... Damn it! God damn it, this fucking button is so sensitive. I can't even rest my thumb on it without, like... I just barely put pressure on it. It's like, oh, you want to pause it? No, I didn't want to pause it, you dipshit. Or bring up the... Virtual console menu. Whatever, I don't know. Mm. 
Well, like I was saying, I find it funny how all the the Koopalings are named after famous people. Like... Whoa! Whoa! I almost... I almost avoided getting smashed by getting burned by the lava. Or melted, I should say. Ah... Uh, This room used to give me a ton of trouble as a kid. And, you know, it could still kill me to this day, but, you know, not as often, of course, since I'm older, but sometimes I can still slip up and be like, oh, shit. Yep. There we go. My birds are actually somewhat quiet. That completely proves right there that Mario is a badass. Just kicking the castle over like, get down there, bitch! Morton Koopa Jr. of Castle Number 2 is now just a memory. The next area is the underground vanilla dome. What traps await Mario in this new world? What will become of Princess Toadstool? What's up with the name Toadstool? It's like basically calling her Toad Shit. Princess Toad Shit. Alright, uh. E ah, fuck it, I'll do one more level. No, I don't want the flower. Eh, you know what? I don't have a feather, so... I don't have an extra feather, so I'll take it. Whatever. Right. Okay, perhaps that wasn't a good idea. First place, so yeah. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Come on down, Koopa Troopa, so I can jump over you. Now, the sinking sandbar of doom. But luckily, we have a star man to avoid to avoid killing ourselves on all these enemies. Whoa! I'm, I, like, put myself at risk there by trying for that Koopa. But luckily everything turned out okay. Oh, 
Come on, hop up, thank you. Whoa, 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 okay. Oh, well, I completely screwed that up. <laughs> oh, well. All right, yeah, I think that I think that's good for right now. All right, next time we will do Vanilla Dome 2. This is the Super Saiyan 4 gamer playing. Let um let's play let's replay Super Mario World. So join me next time as we do more of the Vanilla Dome. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and tell other people about me on YouTube. Later.